Okay, so we will uh, we'll just do one of this kind. But this is the kind where we wanted to start by isolating. Uh, we didn't want to do the square roots all on the same side. So uh, first thing we'll take a look at, x has got to be greater than or equal to negative 8 for my domain. Um, the next thing I need to do is come up with the boundary, which is where 8 plus x minus x equals to 2. Okay, so I can factor that. Okay, so if I check those solutions I found so far, what I want to know is um, if I try negative 4 back in the original, that will be square root of 4 minus negative 4. Does this equal the 2? I'm still looking at the boundary. I want to know if they're equal. So that means does 2 plus 4 equal to 2? No, it doesn't. So unfortunately, that's not going to be one of my solutions. Um, let's check x equals to 1, which is going to be um, 8 plus 1. So it's root 9 minus 1. Does this equal to 2? Yes, it does. So I will take x equals 1 as one of my answers. So that means on the boundary this time, on my number line, um, negative 8 is where I can start. I will go as far as positive 1. And let's check some values. So for example, one, one value would be x equals 0. That might be a good one to try. Um, actually, when you work with square roots, 0 is not always the easiest one. Uh, you kind of want to think which number might give me a nice square root. So it's actually going to be a little nicer if we use uh, something like, negative yeah, negative 4, because then that'll give me square root of 8 plus negative 4. So 4, is this greater than or equal to 2? Um, oh, and we've already done this, right? 6 equals, uh, sorry, is 6 greater than or equal to 2? Yes, it is. So, so far, that is one of our candidates in the answer. Um, another nice square root. Well, if we go x equals to 8, then I have root 16 minus 8. Is that greater than or equal to 2? Um, 4 minus 8, greater than or equal to 2? No, it's not. It's going to be a negative. So this doesn't work. Um, it can be equal, so I can include 1. At negative 8, um, it's greater, so it can be included as well. So it's going to be this region in here, which goes from negative 8 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1. So there can be some strange uh, domain restrictions. So we're going to try one where we take a look at maybe it's not always greater. Maybe the number line is only on the negative side. We'll see what happens if uh, we get take a different domain here. Are there any questions before I move to the next one? Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, I don't think those ones have the domain I was looking for. Yeah, the one I crossed out did. But that's okay. We'll try. Uh, we'll try one of these here. We'll cross our fingers that one of these will will work. Okay, so let's try this one. And we'll see what we end up with uh, when we solve this radical inequality.
Okay. So you should get 7 as one of your boundary points. And, of course, it can't be equal, so we have to put a circle around 7. Um, we also need to uh, figure out which region is going to be less than. So for less than, let's test something in here. Um, hmm. Is there a nice square root, or am I going to have to pick something else? Four. Yeah, four makes one of them nice, so we might as well go with four. Of course, you can always use your calculator, but uh, yeah, that's exactly my, uh, I'm too lazy too. Okay, so this is going to be one plus root, whoops, there's my brain going too fast again. That's two, which means this is six. Okay, so is one plus root six less than five? They all keep, I don't know why, I didn't plan it that way, but they all keep working in that one area. That's not, uh, I don't know what the odds of that happening, that we've done three questions or four questions and they're all there. <laughs> but it's not normal that it would always work. Um, let's see here. Well, I guess I can try uh, 14. So that'll be 11 plus... 12? Yeah. 12 will work, same thing. We only get 1, so. So this time I'm going to get uh, root 11 plus 4. Well, this is going to be. Uh, sorry? Yeah, it's going to be bigger than 3, so I know that it's not going to be less than 5, so this area is not included, um, which means I'm going to have this solution, which goes from 3 to 7. Okay. All right. Any questions there? Do we need to try another or we got the hang of the radical uh, inequalities? We're good. We're good. We got the hang of it. Okay. So um, let me uh, just get your homework out.